Hey everybody, MRE Eats here again. Um, I wasn't going to make this video, but I'm a little hungry. Um, I just got off work, so I figured, you know, uh, might as well really get into this interesting Sun Meadow. I've called it Sunshine Meadows in the past. I apologize. But uh, beef and barbecue sauce. Um, again, this is another ration style meal sent to me um, from Matt Haig. Um, I have seen that some soldiers or past veterans or you know anyone involved in the military do not like these things because these were used as a replacement when MREs were either not available or uh, when there was a short order and you know some people unfortunately had to use one of these or so they say I don't think it's going to be that bad. To be honest with you, um, beef and barbecue sauce, that's, I, I love barbecue sauce and anything. Um, I'm definitely going to check out the cans when I get to it. You know, we're going to give it a whole good look and, um, you know, we'll see what the Sun Meadows beef and barbecue sauce is all about. So as always, before we get to the tasting table, I'm going to open everything up, give it all a nice little display, and then we'll get over there. And um, I would like to make a quick note here. I understand in the video I uploaded yesterday, well, last night at this point in time, um, there was audio issues. That was because the camera I record on doesn't track audio. What I use is I use like a like one of those blue snowball microphones, and that's further back. Collects this audio fine, um, but it mixed with the audio from my laptop, and that you know between real tech and snowball going back at it. Basically, just overlaid the audio. That's why yesterday sounded as bad as it did that video. Um, I'm going to keep it up, obviously. I'm not going to take it down. It's a learning experience. This whole thing is a learning experience. This would be my second review ever of any kind of ration. And I think it's important. Um, most bigger channels that I've seen who have uploaded rations, they've come from a certain place where maybe they could afford all the right equipment. The equipment that I use right now is what I have at my means. Now, that's not to say it's not going to upgrade one day and the reviews won't be better. But being the first review that I'd ever done, um, you know, with the camera, with, you know, the tasting table as its own, as its own thing, there was bound to be issues, which I knew there was going to be issues. And then once I watched it in lower resolution, standard definition, um, it was very apparent, <clears throat> but the high definition resolution of the video made the audio issues not as noticeable, but you can still tell. Uh, I apologize for that. Again, that's something I'm working on fixing. Uh, it's not going to always be that way. It's just, you know, once I'm able to get the right equipment, we'll get there. So just hang tight with me. I promise it's going to be worth your time one day. Uh, but for now, you know, let's, let's, let's look into what this beef and barbecue sauce is. And I'm really excited for this one, again, because it's a nice quick little lunch, um, a quick little snack if you're on the go. You know, Matt had made a post in the Facebook group, the uh, Steve1989 MRE dash posting group, about how, like, he had this for lunch. And there was a few people who said, like, you know, they, they didn't like this as much when they had to eat it because, you know, they hadn't ordered enough MREs to feed all the troops or they just didn't order them at all. And, um, you know, I just want to kind of see, like, if that's like a palate thing, a taste-wise thing, or if that's because, again, these, you know, are terrible. But we'll get to that. So off the top, we have two of these beef and barbecue sauce, smoke flavor added. Again, that's what counts. Three-ounce cans. I don't know if you can see that or not. Ooh, boop. Eee, pull it back a little bit. It's fine. You get two of these both the exact same thing i'm sure there are ways to warm these up you know probably put them in boiling water there's no heater with this obviously i i feel i felt originally like this is more of a civilian geared type of quick meal quick little lunch but um you get two of those you get this nice juice bowl fruit punch I like fruit punch. Um, you know, there's, <laughs> you know, we look at the back, and you, you know, there's a bunch of, um, bunch of added sugars in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. If you can't, 
Let me try to crank that. There you go. There's a lot in there. Um, probably the best thing to be drinking, but it's a drink. And no preparation whatsoever. And Sarah, it's ready to go. Take it out of the pack. You can drink it. Um, we have a Kashi. Kashi. I've heard people say it both ways. I say Kashi. It might be Kashi. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing anything. This is a Honey Almond Flax Bar. And, uh, again... You know, nutrition facts, you know, you're not going to be able to see that as good. One day things will be better, I promise. But it's a 130 calorie bar. You know, it's it's filling, you know, with the other, if you eat the other components. Um, this is something I'm really excited about. 220 calories. There you go. I imagine everybody watching this knows what these are. Wheat tortillas. Soft tortillas. So, wheat Tortillas. Never had those before. I know it's tortillas. I like to call them tortillas. Call them what you may. That's just how I roll. Um, I would assume there's two, three, maybe four. But I'm going to put a good number on two. But we'll figure it out once we get to that point in time. We have a nice little cutlery kit here. Boop. We got a nice little fork. I can see pepper, salt, and, you know, basic napkin. Just... Just the bare essentials, you know, to finish, eat the meal. We have Black Forest Juicy Burst Mixed Fruit Gummies. I love Black Forest Gummy Bears, so this will be interesting, to say the least. Um, 200 calories. I'm not really into, you know, showing too, too much off like that. Maybe I will when we get to the tasting table for now. I really just want to get through this and show you what's all included. And the final thing, again, we have Planters Tropical Fruit Nuts Fruit <laughs> Fruit Nut Nut Trail Mix. Apologize for some reason I can't talk today. Um, sideways, no, vertically. Obviously, you can see what's in there. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the uh, calorie content there or not. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. This there. Once I get the camera set over to the tasting table, the new setup I have that will hopefully try to fix some of the issues that occurred in last night's video, hopefully you'll be able to see. But other than that, we got this nice little wrapper. Trash. And almost a perfect size tray for what you're getting. You know, I mean, these components, there's, there's not a lot here. Just, again, obviously a quick little lunch, but... We may use it, we may not. But uh, yeah, that's that's everything you get in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cans out and either boil them or just you know just kind of see recommended cooking instructions off the top. It doesn't really say. Just basically mentions the ingredients, the nutrition facts, stuff like that. So maybe you can eat this uncooked, and I might not cook this at all. Uh, might just have it the way it is, but I'll figure that out once I get things figured up. But for now, I will be right back to the tasting table so we can get this all trade up, get it all plated out, and see what it's all about. So just give me a few minutes and we'll get into that. Alright, we are back. So you can tell there's kind of a new camera angle here. It's something that I know I probably should have done in the first video I recorded. Um, the audio has been stepped down. Stuff that, you know, could have, should have, would have been done back in the first review I did. But it wasn't. But uh, we're going to check it out right now. You know, I think that I'm fine-tuning things as I go. And I am excited for that. So, first thing we're going to get going... I apologize, I can't talk today. It's been a long day. First thing we're going to be getting into is we're going to be preparing those tortillas with the barbecue beef. Now, I read online that a lot of people didn't like those warmed up. I guess it was kind of a funny, well, funnier texture. Funnier is not even a word, but you know what I mean. A funny texture, definitely, when you were trying to eat them. So, instead of warming them up, I'm just going to prepare them the way that... From what I've read, a lot of people who had to have this as a replacement to your standard MRE would eat them. So what we're going to do right now, we are going to get these prepared, get everything out, get it onto the little fun green tray, woo, 
and then we are going to test everything out, taste everything, see what it's all about. Alright, so we're going to start obviously off with the most important parts here, and we are going to be opening the beef and barbecue sauce. So let's give that a quick check. Again, you can see nutrition facts on there, all that good stuff, ingredients. I don't even want to know entirely what's on that list. <laughs> but again, seasoned beef and barbecue sauce. Let's go ahead and crank this open real quick. It's got that nice pull tab, which failed. If you would have known. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Let me open this color pack real quick. Down here. Oh man, they really do. They give you everything you need. You got a spoon, a fork, a knife. You know, the three essentials, I suppose, for you know any colory kit. We have our napkin. Nice a big napkin. Something you can lay on your lap if you're afraid of getting anything on your uniform or you know, just a nice big napkin for anything you could ever need it for, you know. If you catch my drift, not very strong. They never are. But, you know, again, can't go wrong with that. Got our salt and pepper. I mean, oh, I'm going to mess this up, aren't I? Oh, geez, what have I done? Oh, oh, well, you know, they're open, but... We may or may not use those. Depends upon the uh, situation, I suppose. Um, what I'm going to do... Oh, here, let me set this fork off to the side. So I'm going to give this quick little mix. Kind of looks like dog food. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> looks like a, <laughs> like a small can of dog food. Smells really good, though. And uh, real quick... You know, this is edible. <laughs> Not like that ration last night. So we're just going to, um, you know, we're just going to give this a quick little taste and uh, see what it's all about. That's good. It's got a slightly strange taste to it. Probably because it's been canned for as long as it has been. But... In general, it's, it's not that bad. I'm going to set that one up to the side. Open up these tortillas. So if I can. There we go. Whoop. There we go. See this? I know it says do not eat. Listen. That's the best snack of the whole thing. You got to eat that. If you don't eat that, you're not getting the whole experience. And I'm telling you right now... I know too many people who say not to eat that kind of thing. It's delicious. You know, it really is. Um, doesn't cause any issues whatsoever. We got our two tortillas there. So what we're going to do. Just add some. Eh, you know what? We'll add a can each to each tortilla because, you know, I'm hungry. And this beef tastes pretty good, so... Get all that on there. That one. Boop. Let's try to see if we can get this one. Nope. Oh. Feels like it's gonna go. Will it? Oh, there it goes. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> I've seen liver pate out of Russian rations. Or any ration in general. <laughs> That looks better than that. But the taste is there for sure. And the taste was always there for those as well. Not shy of pate whatsoever. Even though, you know, this definitely kind of seems like a nice little pate. But what we're going to do is we're going to add this to the to the second tortilla. Mm, good enough. Could you imagine if this had, like, a cheese spread or something um all right so there's those let's check into this juice bowl fruit punch 100 percent juice blend from concentrate with added ingredients no sugar added and again the nutrition facts 
try to get that focused. You can't see it as well as I can. Um, again, that's another lighting issue. Something I thought I had figured out, but I just have to get more lights in general, that's all. But you know what? <laughs> it's got quite a bit on there. You know, it says uh, here on the back. Well, can't tell what it says now. It said something at one point in time, and now it's gone. So, I'm going to put our little straw on there. It kind of reminds me of an old Capri Sun. And, uh, well, that's what you get for your drink out of that. A nice juice bowl fruit punch. So I'm going to give this a quick try. Well, nice fruit punch. That much is for sure. I'm going to check out this honey almond flax cherry granola bar. Again, Kashi, Kashi. And, and you know, there's a million ways to pronounce things at this point in time. You can't see entirely what's there. But 130 calories per bar. Let's go ahead and see what this looking like on the inside here put that in the uh forbidden pile here clean up god i'm such a pig so you know i got a nice big old almond right there bunch of uh granola specks you know obviously it's sticky let me see what it tastes like pretty good that it's pretty good. Let me set that right there. Tropical fruit and nut trail mix. Inside, you're not going to be able to read that with my potato camera, but basically, 250 calories eat the whole package. There's a nice little tear notch up there, so we're going to go ahead and tear that off. And then the side. Check that out. Lots of good different combinations of not only raisins, got some peanuts in there. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, it almost kind of looks like a marshmallow of sorts. Strange for sure, but you know, uh, anything to boost your caloric content, I suppose. Looks like a filibuster in there. Uh, that looks like a piece of freeze dried banana, but we're gonna take this whole handful and we're gonna give it a quick bite, real quick. Mm. That, that, that's very good. That is. It's certainly better than modern USMRE fruit. Any any type of fruit, not raisin or raisin with chocolate biscuits, which obviously there's M and M's. That's way better than all that put together. Um, that is that's really good. I like that. Look at this. Even got a little chunk. I don't know. That might be a pear. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, it tastes like a little freeze-dried pear. Pretty good overall. Um, nothing bad to say about that. In general, we're gonna go ahead and set this guy off to the side. Let's get my get my nuts in the same spot here. Get on over there, nuts. All right, then we'll be taking a look at these Black Forest Juicy Burst mixed fruit. Calorie information, 100 calories is per serving. It says we have two servings per container. Obviously, dear map, 200 calories per container. Um, amongst the other information there, which you may or may not be able to see, um, new camera's coming, I promise, folks. It'll be here before too soon. Go ahead and tear that down. These kind of feel sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all go all over the place. <laughs> Oops. Eh, it'll be alright. Look at that last one. Bag is empty. Set it off to the side. All those ones over there off to the corner when I'm uh, 
doing my editing here. So I'm going to try a few of these. Nice little, those things. Look at these. Let me grab that one. Let me grab this guy. He's all the way over there. There you go. We got some grapes. Looks like a cherry or pomegranate or an old Mario 64 style bomb. Check that thing out. It's pretty cool. Um, this looks like an apple. I would, say I would assume the corresponding shapes are related to the flavor. So let's give these a quick bite. That is like a fruit explosion in your mouth. Um, artificial, obviously. Those all get out. Well, maybe not. Black Forest, I've heard, is pretty good with keep mom natural artificial flavor. Never mind. Yeah. It's crap. Just get the real thing. But they're still good. And uh, I'm happy this one's actually even edible versus, you know, yesterday's review, which <laughs> completely not edible. Um, not at all. Not in the... Not in the slightest, but let's fold up one of these little tortillas. Get this into a nice little beef and barbecue sauce type of roll wrap, if you will. And now let's give that a try. A little bit of extra coming out the end of there. No, <laughs> that'll be okay. Again. Supposed to be quick, easy, you know, there it is. I'm not the best at rolling these things, I never have been. Might have looked like I act like I am, but I'm not, but let's go ahead and give this a quick bite. You know, honestly, that... That right there makes it. Let me get a drink. That right there. That makes this little luncheon slash uh, replacement for, you know, under-provisioned soldiers as far as USMREs go. That makes this so great. You know, it's all really quick, easy to eat. No preparation time whatsoever. You could possibly boil the beef and barbecue sauce. I'm sure there's people who have done it before. I'm not going to do that. Now I read online it's best to just take it right out of the can. Smack it on whatever you're eating and just go to town. And I'll be honest with you. That is that is perfect. That is It's great the way it is. You know the flavoring is all there. You can definitely taste that barbecue sauce. Oh, let me get another bite here. Let me try to see if I can get some of that in there. Hmm. The additional lighting I added today does very nominal, but let me give it a quick bite again. Mm. Probably helps too that I'm starving <laughs> at this point in time. <laughs> I just got off of work, figured I'd do a quick little review of this. Um, we're chugging along with that pack. Uh, Matt said, you know, we've, we were about three rations to the 24-hour exclusive Matt Rat prototype that I was so gracefully gifted. Again, thank you for that, Matt. That's awesome. Apologize for talking my mouth full. Um, now, this, this is the kind of thing I could see myself eating if I had, you know, the... If, it says wheat tortilla, like obviously, like wheat. Mm, got the package right here. Wheat. You can't even tell. You can't even tell at all. Once that, once that barbecue sauce and that beef hits your mouth. I mean, obviously, it looks of a, uh, you know, suspectable quality there. But it's so good. It's absolutely fine. It's perfect. This is one of the best tasting, if not the best tasting things that I have ever had as far as maybe even civilian or I mean I don't even know if this is civilian this might be military contract only but I know that like when he sent me this I was like I'd never heard of that before really wanted to try it out I'm really glad I did this is amazing this has been awesome thank you again Matt thank you to everyone who has watched this review um 
I know that first one did not go according to plan. Oh, this one is better, just as a proof of concept. Again, lighting will be, you know, we're going to have the lighting definitely improved in this room. And we're going to have the um, sound issues improved as well. Anyone who's ever tried to record, I'm going to grab that guy real quick. Anyone who's ever tried to record can tell you that, uh, you know, sound issues can definitely be one of the biggest issues. I hope that I fixed that, but if I haven't, I'm sure going to watch this one back. I'll probably apologize to the community again, but I'd like to thank you guys, all guys and gals, for tuning in to watch this quick review. And uh, I hope you have a, a great weekend. And, um, well, maybe Monday I'll get into one of those, that beef teriyaki that Matt sent, or maybe that chicken noodles. I'm really excited for that one. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been MR Eats, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.